and I, the best ex-teammates, to make a team from them. And MSN was my favorite trio to watch when I was younger, but they don't play together anymore. That's why I started by adding Neymar, Suarez, and Messi into my team. And now I know you're wondering, why haven't I actually brought these players into my team? Well, because I wanted to test my football knowledge, so I messaged my friend Footcrunch. And I asked him to test my ball knowledge by asking me a question about the MSN. If I get it right, I could buy them. How many Champions League did the MSN win together? One, two... Three. Or Cristiano won more than them. I'm a Madrid fan. I know the answer to this one. Messi has won four Champions League titles. And I know Neymar has only won one Champions League in his career. So I'm going to say they have won one Champions League together as the MSN. You're correct. Yes. You can go ahead and buy yes. all three, baby. I'll buy the most handsome man in the world, Neymar, first. Oh, I got him as a left mid. I need to change him to a left wing. I'm going to buy this purple Suarez. I actually love the design of this card. And I love Suarez. He's a player. He plays for passion. And he buys Ian. And I'm going to go ahead and spend 994k on this Messi squad as he's one of the great players of all time. And I have to have him in my team. The craziest thing about this Messi is that he's won seven Ballon d'Ors, but he actually might make it eight this season. He just won the World Cup. By the way, that might have been the greatest experience of my life as I am a Messi fanboy. I actually cried in 2014 when he lost in the final versus Germany. Throughout this video, a bunch of my friends will be questioning me on the players I want to buy. It will get harder and harder as the time goes. For the next two players I want to buy in this team, we'll put this Javi in the center mid position. And I put this Pedri in the sentiment position because Iniesta is not in FIFA. So I decided to message my friend Chufters and ask me for a quiz on Javi and Iniesta. I'm looking at my hairline. You haven't got to be a genius to work out that I am around the same age as Iniesta and Javi. <laughs> Chuff, I love your hairline. It's beautiful, my friend. Before they played for Barcelona, did yeah. either of them play for any other clubs? Yes or no? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. You are my right. And yes. your prize is you it. can go and buy yes. either one of okay. them. I'm gonna go ahead and buy this Javi first as 130k. I knew these players were loyal to the club. How many UCL titles did Xavi okay. and Iniesta win together? Is it three okay. or four? Five or six? It's definitely not five. And it's definitely not six. Well, I think I'm gonna go with my gut feeling. It's a 50 50 chance I get this right. Oh, I'm gonna say four. Chuff, am huh? I correct? Chuff. I don't know how you knew that, but GG's, yes! you can go and buy the other one. Yeah! I really wanted this Petri. I can go ahead and buy him for 190. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I thought I was gonna get that wrong. By the way, it's important for me to answer all of these questions right. So I have to build the best possible team and I'm gonna take it into a game. And the player with the highest match rating in that game, I'll buy a share with a name on the back. And the player with the lowest match rating is gonna be discarded. I don't wanna lose coins. All right, our team has no defenders in it. And I didn't get to experience this duo. I know they were the best left back and right back pairing ever. It's gotta be Roberto Carlos and this Cafu. I messaged my friend Sim2 to question me on these two. Guys, I know you're looking forward to buying Roberto Carlos and Cafu, but <laughs> what? I'm here to ring your day. If you want one of them, name yeah. me two clubs two they clubs. play for. I'm gonna go for Roberto Carlos. I know he played for Madrid, and I don't know if I remember him playing for a blue shirt team. I'm gonna say Inter Milan. Correct. You can go ahead and buy Roberto Carlos. Yes! You are correct. I'm gonna go ahead and buy this Roberto Carlos for 420k. I am smart at football knowledge, so it can be in my left back spot. I need to make sure I get this next question right, otherwise I'm literally going to be sad. How many World Cups did they win together? Okay. One, All right. two. Or three. Ooh. I can guarantee you they have won one together. But I don't think they have won three mm. together. And again, I'm going to go wild. And I'm going to guess this one. But I'm going to say two. Hey, yes! Incorrect. Wait. Now you have to go and buy a what? bronze player. And put him in your right what? back position. You little no! So I got this bronze guy and put him in my right back. I think we should fill in these two centre back positions. It's going to be this Gerard Pique. Yes, I know he cheated on Shakira. But he's still a good defender. And I'm going to buy this Puyol. That thing about this pair is that they're both officially now retired. So my friend SG is the boss. Fan, so I messaged him for a quiz on his two centre back. First question is how many Champions Leagues has PK won? Ooh, I think I know the answer to this one. Before PK played for Barcelona, he played for Man United. And I know he won a Champions League with them in like 2007, 2008. Don't know if he's won five UCLs, but I don't think there's a Barcelona player to have won five UCLs. So I'm gonna say PK has won four UCLs. Well, you are correct. You yes! can have PK. I'm gonna buy this rule breakers PK for 187k. I can't believe that this guy's card has 83. Pace. To buy Puyol, you've also got to tell me how many Champions League oh. he's won. Oh, no, no, no. So when PK was in Man United, Puyol must have been playing for Barcelona. And they won Champions League in that time. So I'm going to say maybe four. There's no way Puyol has won three. It has to be four. Did, am I right? No. You let me down as a friend. No. You've got to use a bronze card in that no. centre-back spot. I bought this bronze guy and put him in the centre-back spot. Look at the right side of my defence. I have two bronze players. What am I going to do? We have to make sure this defence is solid. So I'm going to put this this kid on the bench. I want to put the best goalkeeper that was ever to be, Casillas, in this goalkeeper position. And the best defender, Ramos, in 
the center back position. I cannot mess this one up. I have to do this. So I messaged my friend Bippin to ask me about this Casillas and Ram. Hey, yo, Raz, Raz Matez, I heard you won the greatest soccer goalkeeper of all time, Iker Casillas. Yes. And Sergio Ramos in your yes. team. This guy knows who the real goat of football is, Iker Casillas. This is why he's my best friend. First question, name me okay. four types of trophies Sergio Ramos has won in his career. Okay, so I know Ramos won the World Cup in 2010 with a beautiful team. He's won the Champions League, that's two trophies. He's won the La Liga. I don't know the four trophies. Spain won the Euros though. Yeah, they have won the Euros. Spain did win the Euros and I'm sure Ramos was in it. So I'm going to say the European Championships as well, Pippin. Yes, I'd like to inform you that yes. you are... Correct! Yeah! You can take Ramos. Well, I'm allowed to buy the Sergio Ramos who's 240k. I finally have a center back in my team. Look at that. Two rule breakers. Me and Biffin both think this Iker Casillas is the best player, so I hope to get this right because I, I just want him. If you get Iker Casillas in your team, and I know you really want him, make sure you name me all the teams Iker Casillas has played for in his career. Good luck, Mush. Oh, it's, it's, I think I only know one team from. It's gonna be Porto, right? I think that's all I know. Real Madrid, Porto, and the same team. Unfortunately, you're no. correct. Yes! You can add Casillas to your team, oh my friend. God! Good luck. Why do you scare me like that, you Bruh. piece of sh? My heart stopped there because I thought I wouldn't get my favorite keeper, E.K. Casillas. But he's 218k. I got him right. I got the questions right. And our team is looking quite decent so far. Ladies and gentlemen, the bet is officially on. If you press that subscribe button and get me to 500k subs by the end of the year, I will get the R9 cut. And I am actually scared of doing that because I will lose my job. Right? We are missing a center mid in this team. And we're also missing a bunch of bench players. I want to add one of the greatest midfield trio. Casemiro, Modric and Cruz. This trio destroyed the UCL, the La Liga, everything they got their eyes on. You want them? Please answer me this one question and then you can take one of them. How many UCLs did they win together? Three, four, or five? I'm gonna say I'm gonna go for a wild guess though and I'm gonna say four. Ooh, you're incorrect. No, go buy a bronze no. player and suffer. No. I got rid of this cruise and got a bronze player instead. Next question. In which year did Modric win his Ballon d'Or? I know this one. He won it in 2018. Good job, you're correct. Yes. Now you can go and buy Modric. Yes! I'm gonna buy this Luka Modric, the first player to win the Ballon d'Or and break Messi and Ronaldo's long streak of winning it. But I want this Casemiro, so I have to get this last one right. Now for the final question. Yes. Which one of these players no longer plays for Madrid. Bro, that is the easiest question in the world. It's of course going to be Cruz. I'm kidding. Of course it's Casemiro. He moved to Man United with Ronaldo. Correct. Now you yeah. can go buy one more of yeah. these players. You did very well. So I'm going to buy this team of the tournament, Casemiro, for 224k. Bro, I can literally see his Man United badge there and he asked me the ah. easiest question. But to fill in this bench position, I want to add a duo who I really like. It's going to be this Royce and this Lewandowski. Lewandowski. And they have that little meme where they're smiling oh. at each other and that just makes me really happy. It's so wholesome. Awesome. All right, how many Bundesliga titles did Royce and Lewandowski win together? Is it zero, one, two, or three? You better answer this question right if you want a good team. Oh, my friend Edgar, you gave me a question I have no oh. knowledge on. I'm sure they must have won one together. I feel like Lewandowski and Royce are very good players, so I'm going to have to say they've at least won two together. Am I right? As yes, Raz, Edgar. Raz. You have absolutely right. failed me and oh. disappointed me. Don't buy those I players failed. and replace them with bronze. Of course instead. I failed. I'm very disappointed. In so I got rid of this Lewandowski and Royce and added two bronze players. And now for the final ex teammates in this team, I'm going to buy the BBC. Oh, wait, no, no, not that BBC. I meant Bale, Benzema, and Ronaldo. Well, if you answer these questions right, you can buy them all. First question, besides Real Madrid, which team did Benzema also play for? Oh my god, for? I know this. I know he played for Real Madrid, he played for the France national team, and he also played for Olympic Lyon. That's correct. You can go ahead and buy Benzema. Two! I have to buy the go Big Ben. It's 1.28 million coins. And he recently just won the Ballon d'Or, so I really like it. Now, Raz, if you want Bale, please yes. tell me which team did he debut for? I know he played for Real Madrid. And I also know he played for Tottenham. I got a feeling it's telling me that he debuted for Tottenham. You are incorrect, you oh, dumbo. Fuck. Now go and buy a bronze player. Goodbye, Bale. Hello, 46 British Indian player. Now I'm just praying I get this Ronaldo one right. I know everything about Ronaldo. I will definitely get this right. Now last question. Which year did Ronaldo win his first Ballon d'Or? 2007, 2008, 2009, Okay. 2010. Why well, no Ronaldo moved to Madrid in 2009? But he won his first Ballon d'Or at Man United, which means he could have won it in 2007 or 2008. I know he won the Champions League, the Premier League, and the FA Cup that year. And it's of course 2008. Or oh, correct. So go ahead and get Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. And the squad is done. So as you already know, we're gonna play one game with this team. Play with the highest match rating. I can buy a shirt with the name on the. Back. Lowest match rating player will get discarded. But if I don't want to discard anyone, I have three challenges after completing this one game. Two, one, two. 
keep a clean sheet and score a goal outside of the box. Let's do this. Five minutes in, and Casillas saves our life. And look at this Benzema and Ronaldo reunited again. Ronaldo <laughs> takes the shot and f it up. And guess what? Benzema does it to Ronaldo again. Nope. And guess oh, what? Oh, for fuck's sake! And again. Benzema, Benzema, Benzema! It's Benzema again! But then this happened. Oh, we conceded a goal, which means we're going to have to disclose someone. And I couldn't believe what I was witnessing. This Benzema card is the greatest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Neymar whips it in for Benzema to get his hat-trick, and I swear to you, you have to buy this card. But if you can't afford it, then check out U7 Buy for the cheapest and most reliable Ultimate Team coins. And use code RAS for a 5% discount, so the link is in the description. So Benzema's the highest rate, so we'll buy a top with his name on the back. No, why Petri? I actually like him so much. Goodbye, Petri. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, then YouTube is telling you to click it because you'll enjoy this video even more.